So, you know, I remember the, the very same woman I mentioned that I was dating in college uh -huh. that was like, you know, she grew up in a very toxic environment. Um, I remember there were times like we would get into arguments like constant and we would get into arguments and her response to like some of these arguments, she'll out of spite, she'll change her because back then, I don't know if blocking, this, I'm showing my age right now. I don't know if, blo mm -hmm. if blocking was like that abundant, but she would um, change her number, like literally just give up her number, the number that she's had for years, for years. She, she would change her number so I don't reach out to her, which to mm -hmm. me, I was just like, whatever, right? She changed her number and then a day later, text me from the new number, right? That happened at least three times in our relationship. Right. And yeah. I'm like, you've had three numbers since we started dating. Like, and we only dated for like a year. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, uh -huh. what? That, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously I contributed to why we're not together anymore, but at the same time, like right. that, what you're talking about is very reminiscent of, of somebody yeah. that does that. That's the anxious side of the fearful avoidant because for the fearful avoidant one, which is, uh, uh, the one that um, is hot and cold, they what they do is they vacillate between anxious and avoidant behaviors. Mm. So they have both sides. Of, mm. You know, yeah. So what about so what about now, right? So you know all this stuff, and in the past you did X, Y, and Z. You overtexted to the point where you got blocked. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like only in avoiding, like, like restraining. <laughs> I want to. That's like it, that's the thing. And what happens a lot of times, uh, and I do think this is important. The anxious avoidant loop is that because that anxious person is used to the inconsistency, the avoidant person provides that that abandonment feeling, that in level of inconsistency. Okay. Um, and the avoidant person tends to like the anxious person because they don't know how to experience their feelings they don't know uh, they can't express the same level of emotion that the anxious person can and so and they're you know they fall for that they're like wow look at this person who has you know this capacity that i don't have that at all mm. but it's over overwhelming for them and they can't handle mm. too much of it so they need space and time in between right but these two people have completely different coping mechanisms with how they handle their emotions. Right, right, right. Completely different needs. Okay. Right. And, but they often subconsciously fall in love and it causes almost every toxic relationship you will ever hear about. Huh. I wonder if like people were more aware of their attachment styles, if they actually would be more functional in their relationships or if it's just like something that only can be like remedied through actual work, like acknowledgement is not enough. It's both, right? I mean, you have to have some level of both because you could know that you're an alcoholic. Anxious. Uh huh? An alcoholic. Yeah. This, 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 what are you drinking right this, now? This, this it's is not water. In the it's, not, it's, not, it's not vodka. Okay, it's water. I you like to hydrate. So right. I'm not that drunk. <sighs> you want to talk about it? That's, 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 that we're gonna save for Patreon. Uh. <laughs> um, but where was I? Oh, oh, you need, yeah, you need to have, you need to have self-awareness first and you need to not only have self-awareness, but account, self accountability, right, you right, need right. to be able to say shit. A lot of times you'll, you'll do the thing that whatever your attachment style is like, okay. you'll not respond to the text and mm -hmm. you know, you're supposed to respond to the text or you'll, uh, as an anxious person, you'll you know, freak out because you didn't hear from somebody like, you know, in, in the appropriate time for you. And a lot of times you you realize it after the fact, you're like, oh, 
I did that thing. And I did that thing because, because I, I was feeling anxious and there was really no reason for me to feel anxious, but you know, I reacted yeah. anyway to my emotions. Yeah. Um, and if you can take accountability for it, even afterwards, you're already like steps in the right direction. Right. Mm. Um, yeah, but being self-aware sometimes it only gives you kind of like a surface, a, a, a surface level okay. of being able to change the behavior. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really until you deal with the childhood trauma that got you there, uh, that's where you really can see some some real change.